<laughs> How they spell it, I can't say it in English. R E N A T O? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but if I say it, it's going to come out H E N A T O. Right. <laughs> All right, I like that, that, that uh, black kid have a shirt that says fresh. Yeah, he's keeping it OG style with that shirt. I like, I like that. I like the young kids uh, show respect to the old stuff. All right, let's turn it over to the veteran voice of the cage, Jim Fitzgerald. I wasn't finished, but okay. All right, fight fans, here we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present the rerounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Validated Center. Make sure you visit the Validated Center booth located right inside the lobby. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, Mylon Ayers. And now, introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black trunks. He is training out of Black House MMA and Boxing Works in Torrance by way of Redondo Beach. He weighed in 139 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Logan Betcher. His opponent across the cage on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks. He is training out of FCA MMA, Santa Ana, California. He weighed in 135 pounds. Tonight, he is also making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Skyler Lee. All right, fans, once again, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. All right, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds in the featherweight division. We got Logan Bechner and Skyler Lee getting ready to trade. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's always he flashing to see if two fighters wearing boxer briefs and also trunks <laughs> that they was got uh, a horse uh, Bet dressed for last ball. Uh, Bet uh, Betcher uh, looks considerably larger than Lee. But he's also, he's also wiry, whereas uh, the other guy, Skyler, is very compact. Am I, am I crazier? Does Skyler and Lee a little, look a little bit like Joseph Benavides? He does a little <laughs> bit. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. And, oh, poha. Coming forward, and, and the, throwing straight lefts and right hands. And the other guy looked like Hiff Half, the, the <laughs> half. <laughs> he does kind of look like Riff Raff. Yeah, uh, he said, Ho uh, Hogan, Ultimate War. I like the underhooks here by Betcher, refusing to be take, being taken down here. Nice knee to the body. That's going to take the salt uh, out of you. Okay, that was nice. You put, what, you put that once to the next section. Okay, Benavide, I mean, uh, what's his name? Lee. Lee. Uh, Skyler Lee. Skyler. Skyler Lee keeping oh. his hands high. God, I, was that but a he low He just one? got cracked right there. Was it looked, that a low? It looked a little low. Oh. Skyler Lee adamant about trying to get this takedown, but Betcher having none of it. Beautiful job digging the underhooks and staying on his feet. This guy's came headed to fight. Now, if you're Skylar Lee in this situation, do you give up the takedown or do you pursue it? How long do you pursue this takedown? I, I like where he's at. I, I think he should stay on that single leg that he has to his left, try to run the pipe with that single. Because um, you can see he doesn't have the underhook on that side. Uh, Bet Betcher. That's an interesting uh, break. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think it was too soon. Oh, one goes low, the other goes high. Who won that one? You tell us. Betcher with the inside low kick. Okay, a right. show of gentlemanships. Logan Betcher getting deep on that leg kick. God, I, he's, he threw that one to, to the down, height down the pipe. Utilizing every single inch of that frame of his. Okay, God, I, this is a family show. Beautiful inside low <laughs> Beautiful inside low kick. Skyler Lee testing that chin of Betchner. Okay. That's a good that's a, that's a difficult that's a difficult stuff to uh, to score, but if I if I'm forced to make a decision, I like the tall wiry kid that look like him half, uh, but also have a beard. Okay, so uh, Hinato has Bechner winning the first round, Kevin. It's it's a close one to call. I, I mean I like the way Lee was pushing the action up against the cage. I think Betcher probably landed the more significant strikes. Probably have to agree with Uncle Hanash. Yeah, um, and that, that's the only reason why he landed all oh, oh, Give two hearts some, some kudos for that. Because those cheeks don't just grow on that trees. You know, uh, you know, Betcher is also resembling uh, little sons of anarchy. Yeah, kinda like a, a skinny version to that one. Like if that guy was uh, 
play the part of the machinist for Hakai and I. <laughs> if Charlie Hunnam was the machinist, apparently, yeah. That's not to check anything away from the guy. He's, he's given a great performance. He's definitely in great shape, no question about it. Doesn't look like he's breathing heavy at all. Oh, and he looked like he was look over here like, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> but he's bite off a little more than he can chew if he's going to look strong for the match. <laughs> he's going to be in for a hood awakening. Maybe I'm going to take away that first half. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, God's gift to women, Paul. All right, Milan Ayers calls the two fighters to the center. Oh. Here we go, round two underway. Okay, that was a unique exchange. Maybe some capoeira. Both fighters seem a little more methodical here starting the second round. Are you fighting out of that orthodox stance, looking to land that big right hand on a counter. They both respect that they're both wearing undergarments uh, as, as outer garments. Beautiful job by Lee to get entrance with that jab, but Bechner just pushes him back with that. Oh, that longer no, oh, oh, oh there was a trouble. couple. There was a couple ones landed there. That was, uh oh. Bechner's got the neck. Okay, but he don't have him. Yeah, he, 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 once you see too much of the back of the head there when you have a good chin, that ain't gonna happen, okay? You gotta cover that part. That's are all over Lee here in this round. Lee's oh. got to get out of this corner. Oh, nice. He, he has right to circle hand. out. He has to circle out of there. Lee switching, going to the knees, then back oh, to the hands, high. landing hooks to the side of the head. But Skylar Lee's still trading, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there's no quit in this kid. He's throwing back as much as he can, but Betcher right now is just overwhelming him. Now you would think Lee would want the fight up close and personal, being out of reach disadvantage, but with his back up against the cage, there's really not much he can yeah, do. And, and he's in danger of getting his back check uh, right now. Yeah, he's got to watch this schoolyard headlock position because Betcher is going to sneak out the back door and take the back if he gets him off the cage. Yeah, he needs to he needs to get a whizzer. Okay, they hide in front of us. Beautiful reversal here by Lee. Let's see if he can change levels and look for a takedown of his own. And he opts to back out. We was just got a bird's eye view. Oh, oh he well, just he missed that high, head just kick. Misses. Lee is tired. He's not moving his head at all. I just saw him exhale. A huge exhale. He's in deep trouble here. Marlon Ayers, Marlon Ayers rather, taking a very close look at this one. Beautiful oh, slip. Skyler Lee lands a nice left hook on the exit there. Skyler Lee will survive that hound, but he was very lucky that the, that the hound came to an end. Man, that head kick was about one millimeter yeah. away from landing flush. It, that was a close shave. <laughs> but you know what? So far, everybody's game. There's nobody who didn't care to fight. Yes. This guy is fighting with a lot of heart. Spar I like that. Sparstar always booking the game fighters, whether they're yeah. debut or season. Yeah, I love to see this. You know, Sparstar MMA is streaming live on the Global Combat Network. We want to thank our friends at MMA Madhouse and our friends at JT Media for making this possible today. I'm Jonathan King from The Clinch Report. With me, as always, Kevin Widows and 27-time world champion, Hanato Laranja. We are calling the action live from Inglewood, California, the historic Hollywood Park Casino. And we are getting ready for round three in what has been a great match fight. Who do you have winning this one, Hanak, so yeah, far? Yeah, and and, and uh, some of the people probably don't even believe this is the he or me, but I, I'm healing here, uh, you know. So, uh, I wasn't lying about that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there are pictures on Facebook, I have proof. All right, last round underway, here we go. Ooh. Oh, nice, now, now he's setting up Kamenech. Logan okay, Betchner okay. wasting he no smells, time. He smells blood on this one now. Um, he might get taken down here. He looked like he was fishing. I don't see that happening because <clears throat> I feel like Skyler. He doesn't have enough energy. Uh, this is the beginning, maybe to the end. I hate to say it because the kid is a game opponent, but. Logan Betchner utilizing excellent straight punches here, keeping Skyler Lee at bay. He's bloody, but he is not done. No. But he's, he's um, I still think he's, he's, he's a little foggy in there. And I think uh, Batcha has a lot more uh, in the gas tank now. But he's allowing him to recover. Anytime this grappling has changed, it's give a uh, chance to recover for uh, for. Uh, oh, oh, nice head kick by Batcha. That might be the, uh, the prelude here. But now, Skyler Lee, oh my God, this guy can take it. If I was Batch, I would back off and use my length and pick him, 
picture him apart. Now, how much, okay, that's a great point. How much of this clinch is Skylar Lee holding on to him? And how oh. much of this is Betchner? Uh, uh, Betchner could, could back out of there if you want. Trust me. You'll you, you, you frame up, push away from the face, and, and, and let him to have it. Let him have some full contact capoeira. I think Betcher figures, why well, take a chance? You know, he knows he's winning the fight. He figures maybe I'll just hold him against the cage, do some no, damage. No, but that's give him, uh, this guy, a chance to recover. Uh, he, was, he was winning the exchange. True. But you know what? If you're, if you're um, a fan of the other, the Lee, you're going to be happy that, that this happened. Logan Betcher refusing to give Skylar Lee any breathing room here. See, that now he have a second, he have a third hound she came out and, and, and try again. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you have that one at home? Please Betcher, comment barely on the streaming. You have room on the comments to, to put your comments in there. Betcher yeah. barely broke a sweat. Look at him. This guy's yeah. not even breathing heavy. He's not even. Where, where's the stools for these guys? Okay. Logan Betcher's ready to go another three. He doesn't even want a stool. Look at that. Wait, nice wait, show of sportsmanship. Wait, what, what? That's oh. a two hound? No, that was three, ladies. That was, that was the, third. the third hound? Yeah, that's why I was saying he's pushing him against the cage. It was kind of smart because why risk getting clipped? Why Why did I? You know what? That's my bad. That's too much heifer. Yeah. I, no heifer. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the age, Mohan. You know, actually, Hanato, I, this brings up something. I'm really glad that you got here when you did. Why? Because if you were here earlier, I, I was afraid there was going to be a big brawl because you know when you have two guys in one room with huge personalities you never know what's going to happen Who was here i don't know if you've ever heard of the king of the streets mr marco of Hula. course marco was uh we have there's a lot of mutual his back uh we're both very good friends to each other uh, okay See, and i was i was worried you two would clash no no he, he he's a he's a, a a big fan of mine and i've always been a big fan to his uh from the old days valley Shudo. The stars all come out at Spar Star MMA. We got a lot of pro fighters in attendance tonight. A shout out to, to Marco Huas, uh, if you're out there listening. Uh, uh, Marco Huas cornering a youth pancreation event. If, if that doesn't tell you I how much he cares about the sport. Uh, if that don't tell you how much he care about children, Poha, he don't care if that ones get kicked to the chops. Uh, and that's the same feeling I have. That's less child support for me. <laughs> All right, let's turn it over to Jim Fitzgerald for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at ringside, Mike Bell scores the bout 30 to 26. Judge at ringside, Chris Crail scores the bout 29 to 26. And judge at ringside, Dr. Nelson Hamilton scores the bout 30 to 27 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision, the red corner, Logan Betcher. Logan Betcher has his hand raised in victory. Great performance. Yeah, that was, that was great. Uh, you know, I, I, I would like to give uh, the other kid a lot more credit than 30-26, uh, Poha. Yeah, but scoring seemed a little bit all over on that one. But we have three fights already in the books. And up next, we have Tim Barnard versus Charles Young. So far, so far very exciting. I'm sorry, my brother, but very exciting stuff. And I'm, I'm happy to be here.